What was that? Do you need any help from me or any assistance? Did I call you? No. But the reason, so why are you bugging me? The reason I'm stopping out here with you is because somebody called in. Because I'm on looked. private property? No, because somebody called and said you was it management? suspicious. So. Was it management? Um, I don't know. No, so it don't matter. I don't. I'm what sure crime do you management. suspect me of committing? I'm not sure if it was management. Do what crime any... do you suspect me of committing? Do you need any assistance from me? What crime do you suspect me of committing? I don't suspect you committing anything. Okay, then you have no business with me. I can still talk to you. You have no business with me. I can still talk to you. So, so you ha you suspect me of no crime, right? I can still talk to you. You suspect me of no crime, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Goodbye. Have a good day, sir. Bye, bye. You come. What crime do you suspect me of committing? What crime do you suspect me of committing? But you just made YouTube history. You are stupid. You are so stupid. So you have no business with me. Move on. Okay, so let's take a moment and analyze what's actually happening here. As you guys can see, this frauder looks like he's sleeping out of his car or his truck or whatever. And the officer approaches him and says, Hey, someone called and said you were being suspicious. Now, of course, to the frauder, this is mass corruption and this officer's a tyrant. But, hey, every business has the right whether or not they let people sleep in their lots in their cars or not. Some business owners are more relaxed with that than others. So it's perfectly reasonable for this officer to come and investigate what's taking place. But of course, this frauder is gonna berate this officer for no reason at all, even though technically he's the one that's acting questionable. I'm just asking if you had a knife. You don't have any business with me. You don't you don't have, you any, don't have any business with me. You, you don't have any business with me. You don't suspect me of a crime. You're law enforcement. Okay. Which means that you must have a crime in order to deal with me. This is not consensual. I don't want to talk to you. If you have any questions for me, direct them to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? If you have any questions for me, direct them to my I, lawyer. I can't direct them to your lawyer if I don't know your lawyer. Oh, imagine that. Don't you love how this works? This is America. That's okay. In America, a person is considered innocent in all of his actions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And in America... The police have no business harassing the public absent a crime. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is considered harassment absent a crime. That's right, guys. This officer standing here listening to this frauditor's gibberish is apparently harassing the public. What a tyrant. Okay, so yeah, so let's I, keep going with it. I got called about you. But I don't give a f you got called about. No, I didn't I call you. Check. You don't suspect me of a crime and you're law enforcement. They did. Who did? The person that called. They, and that was who? Not management, right? How do you know it's not management? How did, because I know the management, because I have business here. Okay. I'm well, I'm the, here every day. So if somebody called on me, it was not management. Cool. Okay. So, again, what are you doing on this private property harassing people for no crime? I'm allowed to come on here and check. You're allowed to come on and check when you suspect crimes. You are not allowed to harass the public and violate their Fourth Amendment right to be free from unnecessary, undue harassment, illegal searches, seizures, etc. Yep, you sure can. I'm going to walk over and make sure I get your ID on uh, your vehicle. Okay, you have not. You have nothing to fear from me. I would never cause you guys harm. Just so you know, you have nothing to fear from me. But I am going to walk over here and yeah, ID your voice. vehicle and, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. You want my name, badge number? Yes, sir. It's Officer Clark, number 47. Number 47. Good job. Good job. Appreciate you. Yeah. Lehigh is generally pretty good about that. Thank you. It would be better if we'd get rid of all your blue line bullshit, gang member shit. I don't have any blue line bullshit. That's good. I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking because we don't believe in that gang shit. You have anything illegal in your car? Do you have any drugs or weapons that are unregistered? Uh, I hope not. Can I can I check? No. Nope. Can I get you to sit on the curb over here? Nope. No. 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 Can I get you to keep your hands away from your gun, please? This get your hands out of your pocket for my safety. For my safety, I'd like you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Well, number one, if anything, this officer should be fearing for his safety 
not you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's antagonizing him, foaming at the mouth, screaming at him like someone who's possessed. And he's just sitting there listening to it. So I don't really think your safety is the problem or at issue here. Is the flat plate on their ears? I'm not answering. I already told you any questions you have for me, you need to direct to my attorney. Any questions you have for me, you need to direct to my attorney. Well, if you don't need anything else, I'm going to take off. Uh, I appreciate that, Clark. I appreciate that. You have lots better things to do besides harassing the public for sitting in a private parking lot doing nothing but being a free American. I know this idiot did not seriously just confess to committing a crime to this officer. Because when you look at the law, he literally just spelled out the terms of an individual who was loitering, which is a misdemeanor in the third degree. He's, he just said he was on private property, sitting in his vehicle, doing nothing. He's on private property in his vehicle with no legitimate purpose. That is loitering. So technically, you were committing a crime and the officer had every right to come and investigate the crime you were committing. You have a job to do and it is not to investigate suspicious. What is suspicious? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? <laughs> right? That's so stupid. That's an oxy. That's a bullshit. Oh, you're suspicious. What is suspicious about a car parked in a parking lot? That's not what... Oh, dipshit! They said they, they thought you were tweaking. Oh, tweaking. Are you going to give me a drug test? Do you want me to? Do you got one? I'll pee in a cup for you. Know, Just I because I like you. I like your smile, you. bud. You're good. <laughs> they suspected me of tweaking for sitting in a parking lot, which I do every day at mm -hmm. the same time. It's probably somebody new then. Uh, I know it was. It, it was not somebody who belongs to the hotel. Oh, wait. Is this your girlfriend over here? Oh, man, I didn't realize you had your girlfriend in the car. What policy is that that says you can have your girlfriend in the car? Look at that shit. Caught him with his girlfriend. Now he wants to run. Bye-bye. This goes to show you how narrow-minded these lunatics can be because he has no clue who this person actually is. He immediately assumes, oh, it's a female and his friend. It's a girl and his friend. It's his girlfriend. For all you know, that's a supervisor, someone in training, someone undercover. But no, these frauders are so narrow-minded, they're just going to throw out these babbling accusations and their brain-dead followers will believe it. Bye-bye! Two, two, three, seven, four, two. Lehigh police. Running around with his girlfriend. Gotta love that. <laughs> All right. So, folks. <laughs> So I'll have to edit part of that out. Don't need that info going out to the public, you know. Um, but I do not believe there was any phone calls about me. Management just said that they was there was no um, phone calls regarding me or being out here. Um, that cop went by, he seen a man sitting in a parking lot and decided he was going to hassle the guy for no reason. And so there you have it. Well, as you guys can see, that's ignorance for you. Because again, he's claiming that this officer just showed up, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know if someone actually called. He doesn't know anything like that. But again, these frauders just want to assume that it's always a corruption, it's always some type of conspiracy, and they are the victims, and the police are the enemies, blah, 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 blah. It's typical with these cop haters. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Continue with your support on this channel, and 
hey, see you next time.